you are about to see the true scale of GTA 6 and how Rockstar Games is changing gaming forever. Please like this video, share this with your friends because we have a masterpiece up and over hands. Roll it. This week, Grand Theft Auto V $1 billion in sales in three days. No movie or music release has ever come close. And right now we're hearing that they are spending almost $2 billion into, in order to make GTA 6. Absolutely wild. Can I really get two pennies, man? Lucia, do you know why you're here? Yeah, to show the burner. It's no the trailer secret anymore. Is... GTA 6 is the most anticipated game ever. With the initial trailer already setting new world records, the pressure on Rockstar has been the biggest ever to deliver something great again. Greater than what GTA 5 delivered. In an ever-evolving industry... If this game turns out to be bad, I will become a monk. Many okay. wonder if GTA 6 can really top up the influence and success that 10 years of GTA 5 had. How will Rockstar change the way we look at games once again? Hopefully it's not just shark cards updating. If they just update the shark cards and dip, then I'm gonna become a monk regardless, dog. And the trailer is reaching 200 million, though. Let's get into it. It's Shout been well over Smithful. two months now since Rockstar Games shared their very first trailer of GTA 6, sitting at roughly 180 million views with 90 million views within the first day, already Damn. breaking the world record for the most watched non-music video. The hype for the game is undoubtedly there, all thanks to the success of GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, and not to forget the 10-year wait for the next GTA. With a reported <laughs> production cost of two- Yo, when is GTA 7 gonna come on? Like, probably 20? 40 something like that and where is the trailer to we need to see the lucia burn up once again man hopefully they don't nerf it though two billion dollars it also makes gta 6 the most expensive entertainment product ever made in modern history which yeah. isn't that weird considering the game entered its first development in 2014 with Crazy, well man. over 3,000 employees spread over 11 studios worldwide working on the game the results we previously had leaks that gta 6 was gonna be set in the 70s and we did also hear that it's uh 70s 80s Vice City still uh, and we had leaks ever since like 2014 and yeah Sagas Su did say that this game has been or was in development all the way back in 2014 but then around like 2020 2021 we heard leaks that instead of it being set in 70s and 80s it's actually gonna be modern day because they wanna be selling like those flying cars and all that crap in GTA Online, because if it's in 70s, 80s, it just wouldn't make sense. Uh, you know? Certainly showed off in the first trailer. WRL, From the crowded beach to the beautiful night scenes, GTA 6 is already looking graphically and technically leaps ahead of other games. Oh my Besides God. that, the trailer already showed numerous new exciting stuff never seen in a game like GTA. Some days prior to the GTA 6 trailer, an alleged friend of the son of a Rockstar employee <laughs> leaked a video of the game. He leaked it too, yeah. It showed a city with if this game turns out to be bad, bro, I'm quitting gaming. The big I'm highway gaming, next bro. to a skate park, which wasn't really the most surprising discovery after the 2022 GTA 6 leaks. The small clip was initially leaked on TikTok, and the account owner couldn't help himself replying to messages. So did one particular message stand what a guy. out. It what asked a guy. if the game would have enterable buildings, whereas the leaker replied that at least yeah. 70%. No! Yeah, yo, if it's like 70%, then holy crap, bro. Like, I, I almost refuse to believe it. I feel like that the expectations, they are like rising big time right now. Seriously, though, do you think it's going to be 70% uh, of the build, Seventy percent of the buildings, do you think they're going to be enterable? I really doubt it, but uh, are we talking Rockstar Games here, man? They have been hard at work designing the Lucia Burna, so if they're going to have the Burna like designed perfectly, they got to have the buildings perfect as well for her to enter with that border. Bruh. You feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you know what I'm accessible. Doing. Whether the leaker is speaking the truth is questionable, since he later also claimed that the game is aimed for a 2024 release. Yeah. However, the idea of making almost all the buildings enterable isn't entirely ridiculous, given the extensive work and production costs that go into this game, and with the technologies of today, it shouldn't sound yeah. far-fetched. <laughs> Even back in 2012, yeah. Rockstar Horse already balls. had this idea. Their vision was broader than just 70%. 
then. Instead, they had a vision for 100% of the buildings. Every Dang. home interior modeled, every building, building enterable. enterable. This document reportedly no originated from a briefing session at Rockstar North. One of the notes included ideas for the next GTA. Knowing the notes are from 2012, it would have been a bold vision to have all buildings accessible, considering today's technologies didn't exist back then. Fast forwarding some years to 2018, the parent company of Rockstar Games filed a patent titled System and Method for Game Object and Environment Generation. It goes through how interiors can be randomly generated. Dog, the situation is so crazy. Most of the big leaks that we actually heard all the way back, like 2018, 2019, 2020, and you know, all the big leaks actually have been real though. Oh, shit. Minus obviously, like it, it depends on what source you were like getting your information from, okay? If your source was a uh, uh, dude, trust me, then obviously, okay, the leaks were not true. But uh, I, I remember a lot of these leaks. These leaks are coming to my mind right now. Like I remember when we heard about the pattern, I believe I made a video on it. I covered all the news on it, man. Like damn, bro. And it took like what? And five years, not even five, six years? Oh shit! Oh, six shit. years later, now we're finding out that, well, uh, it was for GTA 6. Who would have thought, right? Rated with the help of AI, ultimately using fewer resources from your system. AI will create a set of unique and random interiors based on given assets. To give yeah. you an example, numerous assets are meant for interiors. One group is named old, the other is named modern, and the last and is named industrial. All these groups are connected to a set of buildings with the same name that go well together. So will the modern group, with the help of AI, randomize those assets to make a new and unique interior that will never feel repetitive. You can already see how this can save a ton of time from the individual developers assigned to make every single interior, especially in a city like Miami, where there are a ton of skyscrapers. Man, these things don't even wanna go to work right now, dog. What you mean, bro? Seggers, uh, Seggers are saying they don't want to work at Rockstar Game Studio right now. Yeah, they are saying it. They're saying, they're more like saying, I mean, I'm saucing it up. They're more like saying it. They want to work from home. They don't want to go to the studio. But Seggers over at Rockstar Take Two, they're saying that bring your ass over to the studio. We got a game to finish right now. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm with Take Two on this one, man. This game needs to come out, man. Hopefully early 2025, dog. In the trailer, you can already but see these buildings having randomized interiors. While there could be a particular chance all of these are actually enterable, these Bruh. can also just be parallax Bruh. interiors, especially for the bigger buildings. The best example of parallax interiors can be seen in the Unreal Engine demo of The Matrix yes. Awakens. It's not an actual interior, it just gives the illusion it is. The chances of GTA 6 having all buildings enterable is arguably high, or at least 70% 70 70 of the buildings. I don't know about this. Despite the map of GTA 6 reportedly being twice the size of GTA 5's map, Rock so what happens like if Sigas find out that it's not 70% but more like 69%? You know what I mean? <laughs> then, then what? I accidentally pressed the wrong sound effect there, you know what I'm saying? But like what? Because I know for the fact that over internet detectives and the GTA detectives, they're really gonna measure this uh, size. They're really gonna measure it. They're really gonna run numbers on this. They're really gonna see like if it's 70% or less than 70% and if it's less than 70% Rockstar you say it's <laughs> you say it's better hide yourselves, okay? If it's less than uh, seventy percent, Star can blow everyone away again by achieving this vision. It would add a whole new value and story to all the areas in the game, you whether those strong, interiors though. have a meaningful purpose well. or not, especially for role players. Since the acquisition of 5M, it makes extra sense for Rockstar to make more accessible buildings, since oh, it's a yeah. massive part of the roleplay community. Another interesting new patent, which was filed in 2021, was about NPCs. It talks about how NPC animations can have randomized responses based on the surrounding environments, moods, events, and so on. In the leaked clips, we could already see this being used. To give you an example, an NPC will react to a variety of things like incoming rain or interact and bond with- no, Honestly, I'm just saying, I would not mind another leak uh, right about now, okay? Like, uh, <laughs> It is dry out here, dog. It is extremely dry out here, man. And seriously, like, I feel like that this game is going to be coming out by the end of 2025. And that is, like, the realistic case scenario. Best case scenario, early 2025. Realistically, by the end of 2025. Worst case scenario in 2026. 
I, I truly do hope that we don't have to wait till 2026. I, 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 I hope like the best would be to drop it like around mid 2025, like perhaps around like May, let's just say, if Yelsikas cannot put it out by March. And, and normally, like, they would put out like their online a little bit later, too, right? So, um, like a month later or something like that. So, whenever this game comes out, we would have to wait a month for GT Online, which is fine, actually. But with other NPCs, this goes much more in depth than the current yeah, brother, NPCs eating, we though. have today. Instead of designing a separate animation for each situation, they now use building blocks that can be combined in various ways, bringing each NPC truly to life and even more intelligent than an RD. I, I really will uh, try and go to the beach and see if like we have that many sisters or not. Okay, because look at that. Yeah. We have so many sisters out here, dog. Like, this is crazy. Like, we got sister out here getting that tan. Sister out here running. Sister out here, I uh, uh, mean, crazy, man. Sisters the doing the haram out there. Truly patent filing that goes in depth about how NPCs can define their own specific characteristics inside traffic, making the in-game traffic more like lifelike drivers on the roads, and essentially making each NPC self-aware of their surroundings when they are in traffic. Yeah. In an interview with Inverse, This is when the... The NPCs become sentient, sentient, you know what I'm saying? Strauss Zelnick, the CEO of Take-Two Interactive, was asked about the benefits of AI in the gaming industry. He responded positively, stating, Non-playable characters are generally not very interesting. You could imagine all the NPCs becoming really interesting and fun. Yeah. It's safe to say, Ow. these situations won't occur in GTA 6. Instead, we'll see more of this, and certainly more of these social media clips, which... Yeah, man, like a lot of sisters doing the haram out there. We're a lot off in the trailer. Rockstar really wanted to give us a message in the first trailer. Social media will be inevitable and will play a considerable part in the game. Social media isn't particularly new in the GTA games, yeah, so we do we have, have but... fictional parodies of popular platforms, which aren't that interactive if we look at the GTA 6 trailer, where we and others seemingly can record an... But I think we're gonna have like a similar social media like uh, Instagram or TikTok. I mean, the layout that we're seeing right now is similar to TikTok or, or I should say Instagram, right? I think we're going to have a similar thing, but how big is it going to be? I mean, the trailer was literally all about that or yeah, it was literally all about that, right? Let's Bruh. be real. But you were able to see the gameplay through the lens of uh, the, the, the the social media kind of, right? So you're able to see like a massive, there's like massive influence. The trailer was literally about showing that this is basically going to be the new and big thing about the games. And I wonder, right? Like, is it, uh, if, the, if you post something on the, on the Instagram in the game in GTA 6 and if it goes viral, does it going to have an effect? on like how the NPCs behave like for example you go you go outside and all of a sudden sickers are uh, recognizing you or something like that will we ever have like a, a similar thing or upload videos to social or have media a like that? generating likes shares and internet fame it makes you wonder how social media will look in the game and how advanced it will be if you pay close attention to the trailer, you can see NPCs having different phone models, including live displays, <laughs> making you question if even NPCs will post and interact on social media. A game where social media also played a huge role was Watch Dogs 2, a game similar to the open world of GTA. In Watch Dogs... Nah, bro, like, it wasn't similar, though. Like, we talking... <laughs> You cannot compare UB Snooze with uh, with Rockstar games, but admittedly though, Watch Dogs, I, I played Watch Dogs 1, did not play Watch Dogs 2. Uh, I've seen gameplay, it does look good. And Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, these are like the big Ubisoft IPs, which are which uh, always receive kind of all right though. They are receive all right though, you know. Uh, if you ever played Watch Dogs 2, let me know your thoughts. I, I think it was all right. I think it was all right. Dogs but... 2, your reputation depended on your social I'm expecting, media. I'm expecting to be receive all right though. So. Fame and activity. The more followers you gained, the more power and influence you had, which served as an incentive to complete missions and activities. Each story mission in Watch Dogs 2 concluded with a propaganda video being published, convincing other hackers to join their mission. While Dang. GTA 6 won't be putting its focus on hacking, we can expect a similar approach as in Watch Dogs. Yo, Lucia is just gonna be putting up, like, uh, some butt pics or some crap like that, bro. Like, let's be real, Dogs though. 2. It only makes sense for Rockstar to continue with the social media aspect of the game and make it more advanced than ever if they really want to continue parodying the real world, especially when GTA 6 Online arrives, the social media yeah. system will be truly Ow. put to great use. The online... Ah! 
Yo, GTA 6 Online, man, and GTA Plus, nah, bro, come oh. on, dog. <laughs> don't give them ideas, man, don't give them ideas, I mean, they already have the ideas, but they're gonna, I don't wanna see GTA Plus 2, I don't wanna see GTA Shark Hearts 2.0, man, this thing is gonna be upping the prices and uh, upping the grind in the game as well, yo, I cannot wait for money glitches, actually. Yo, the money glitch is uh, gonna hit different this time, right? Like, I, I feel like that everybody's gonna be making videos on it. Everybody's gonna be watching those videos because we're sick as all right, Rockstar. <laughs> They're gonna maximize the shark cards. And uh, those videos are gonna get patched real quick too, right? Like, the method's gonna get patched very quick. I, I can only assume right now, man. But I, I think it's gonna be crazy for GTA sure. GTA 6 still remains to be seen. At least we know one thing about it, thanks to another patent from Take-Two Interactive. It goes in-depth about seamless session switching in an online environment, significantly decreasing the loading times. Interestingly, it mentions a mechanism for avoiding car dupe glitches via session merging, an issue Rockstar has been dealing with since the start of GTA Online. Yeah. This patent also indicates the GTA 6 map to be huge. It goes together yeah. with the rumor of it being twice the size of the GTA 5 map. This would also allow for more players by theoretically dividing the map into different sections we're hearing still gonna be like 32 players for online although it's a rumor like they can always up it or maybe this is just like maybe this is real information but if it's real it's old information right because by the time the game comes out you know it, it, a lot would be different so it, they can they can certainly make it more i hope for 64 players something like that right it, it would be much better i know suck is 100 but guys uh, uh I, I don't know man i maybe we need a uh, playstation 20 to run that i'm just saying probably not but also the thing is that um gta 6 online right it's likely gonna come out like a month after i mean i wouldn't mind as long as the game comes out like early 2025 they, they can delay online by three months i think that would be fine i think just seconds just want to play something right now it would give you the illusion there are, for example, 100 players on the map while you are in a 30-player session zone on the map. When traveling to another area, you will automatically switch to another session without any loading screens. In and I truly do hope that the, the draw distance is good, and I truly do hope that planes, when you fly them, it feels like that they are flying fast. Because in GTA 5, like, listen, I love the, 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 the planes and the jets, but, like, it's it feels really really slow you you feel me uh, like the video if you agree in the end rockstar games are known for pushing the boundaries with every yeah. new title they create whether it means but that uh, you know the reason they feel slow is because of the the memory i mean gta 5 is a ps3 game playstation 3 was crying playing that game bro and ps4 obviously is old as well but the game is uh way older than that so yeah gta 6 i feel like that this is it man like the draw distance looks crazy too planes gotta feel like that they're flying fast making all buildings accessible or ultra realistic npc behaviors it remains to be seen if we will see these patents put to use in gta 6 i hope so but with high hopes we might get there as yeah, rockstar and right now we're hearing that gta 6 is going to be coming out a little bit early click on this video on the screen we had trailer 2 information some gameplay leaks as well some really good information check this out and i will see you right there on the left though that's on my second channel okay that's a ufo conspiracy channel that i got check it out and i'll see you there